Hey, I'm Brooke Bridgetwood and I am a songwriter and worship leader. The verse of the day today is Matthew 5.14, which says, You are the light of the world. A city set on a hill cannot be hidden. These words of Jesus are encouraging. A dark world needs light. And light doesn't have to strive to be seen in the darkness. It simply has to exist. And where it does, darkness diminishes every time. The wonderful thing about this light Jesus says we are is that it is light that doesn't originate with us. We don't create it or strive for it. We are simply supposed to host it, stand firm, stay set on the hill and shine. The origin of the light is, of course, the capital L light, Christ, the light of the world, as he calls himself in John 8. These words of Jesus are encouraging, but also challenging. Because our light is not our own, it means that we can be the light of the world only as much as the territory of our souls and our churches and communities of faith are yielded to him. Where Jesus is, light shall be. In other words, the more of Christ there is in us, the brighter we will be with the brightness of him who is the hope of the world. So what action can this verse prompt in our lives today? Firstly, I hope that we can actively be encouraged that we are the light the world needs because Jesus is the light of the world and he lives in us. Secondly, let's ask the Lord to show us what areas of our lives, relationships and communities could be yielded more to him and pray to that end for his glory. Amen.